Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. We've got a couple things going on in the shop today, a couple different kind of projects. I want to show a couple of them to you so you can see them. One, we have a faulty water pump. Now, water pumps on any MGBs can go bad for one of two reasons. Either they wobble or they leak, or both. They can wobble like this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so horrible, and it sounds like you got a bunch of gravel in a tin can when it's running. We'd run it now, but our ability to pick up the correct sound on this camera just, just, just won't do it. But, oh my gosh, look at this, and yet, it doesn't leak. You also have pumps that leak horribly, but the bearings are still good. So those are two different possibilities. I got another good one to show you, too. Let's go on over here to this... Uh, Sand Glow MGB. This one came in for a tune-up. Didn't run very well. I took the air cleaner out, and if we look down inside the air cleaner, we'll see that it's it's absolutely sooted up, just like the inside of an Electrolux bag. Okay, and the reason there's so much soot on there is because there's a crack in the manifold. I will point that crack out as best as I can. But I don't want to use the light because that all screws things up, but here we got this massive crack. And by the position of this crack, I know that when I take this manifold off the car, it's going to fall into two pieces. So not only does it give you a whole lot of soot underneath the, underneath the bonnet that the, the air filter then picks up and clogs up and causes the car to run rich, it also makes a real great roaring sound. Hey, I'm going to be in Carlisle, Pennsylvania this weekend, which is the, well, today is like the 16th, so it must be like the 19th or something. My calendar isn't in front of me, so I don't know. But anyway, it's this coming weekend, so if you're going to be in Carlisle, PA, please come, come along and, uh, and check us out. Carl Heidemann from Eclectic Motor Works will be there. I'll be there. We're both giving some seminars, Secrets of Lucas, Secrets of SU Tuning, and, uh, and also Speed, speed Tuning, uh, how to make your, how your, make your MGB go faster, or your Triumph Mayflower for that matter, although as I remember Triumph Mayflowers never really do go faster. Let's come over here and take a look at, uh, we're almost done here, Forrest is working on uh, Forrest is working on this uh, TD. This is the one that, that the Colonel bought uh, brand new in Tokyo. It's already got a couple miles on it. We're just lubing up the rack, getting everything all set here. And uh, we got to align the front end, and Forrest is going to drive it home tonight. And that'll be the first 100 mile run that this car has had in you know, a long, long time. We got more projects too. Here's a real Cooper S. Okay. Austin Cooper S, an honest to goodness mini. And if we put this mini next to a modern mini, the modern mini looks like an SUV, whereas this looks like a shoebox. So here we have the A series engine, and uh, the reason it's a Cooper is it's got it's got some extra studs in it. Um, but it's come up here for some SU carburetor tuning. So we'll be able to take care of that, do that up real nicely. Anyway, for those of you who are going to be in uh, Altoona, gosh, I'd love to see you. And uh, if not, we're going to be in Dillard, Georgia, in about three weeks at the MGB meet. Till then.